Hey, first grade students. You guys have been doing a really great job this week so far learning about supply and demand. Today, we're gonna talk about something called scarcity. And I don't wanna to give too much away because I'm about to show you guys an interesting video that will tell you all about scarcity and give us an awesome example. So while you go off to watch our video, I want you to really think about what that word scarcity means. I'll see you guys in a minute. Today, we are going to learn all about scarcity. Our learning target is, I can identify and describe scarcity. What is scarcity? Scarcity is when there aren't enough goods to meet people's wants. Scarcity comes from the word scarce. Something is scarce when there isn't a lot of it or it isn't always available. Let's look at an example of scarcity. Need Sonia. Sonia has a lemonade stand with a lot of customers. Because her lemonade is so popular, the demand or want for her lemonade is high. Oh no, Sonia has another customer, but she has no more lemonade to sell. More people wanted the lemonade than she had. This is scarcity. Let's review. When there aren't enough goods to meet people's wants, that is called scarcity. Let's take a look back at our learning target and check our success criteria. I can identify and describe scarcity. Let's check to see if we understood what we've learned. I am successful when I can pick out and tell about when more people want a good than what is available. Were you successful? Great job. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, that video talked all about scarcity. To show that you are paying really close attention, I want you to tell somebody or tell yourself, what does scarcity mean? Go ahead and pause the video so that you can tell somebody, what does scarcity mean? Once you're done, you can resume. You did a great job. Now we are going to be doing an activity together. So I want you to go get your materials for our activity. You'll need three pieces of paper, scissors, a marker or some colors, and tape, a stapler, or a glue stick. Something sticky that will hold things together. Go get your materials and we are going to be working on a project together. All right, you guys, once you have your materials, you are ready to get started. So what you wanna do first is you'll take your first piece of paper and start ripping it into strips like this until your whole paper is ripped into strips. Now with your strips, you are going to start making a paper chain. So to make your paper chain, you'll take your first strip, put it in a circle, and attach the two ends together with your tape, staples, or glue. So this is the first link in my chain now I'm gonna make all of my, I'm gonna take my second paper, loop it through, and attach the two ends together, just like I did with my first link. I'm gonna keep doing this with all my strips until I've used all of my strips and I have one paper chain from my strips from that one piece of paper. Now this is what your chain would look like if you were not able to use scissors or colors. This is what your chain would look like if there was a scarcity in scissors and colors. You weren't able to get them even though you wanted them. Now, put your first paper chain to the side. Get out your second piece of paper. For our second chain, we are going to use scissors. So take your scissors and your paper and start cutting your paper into strips until you have cut your paper into strips just like me. Then we are going to start making our second paper chain. If you need more time to cut your paper, go ahead and pause the video and catch up to where I am. Once you have your paper cut into strips, resume and follow along. We're gonna turn this into a paper chain just like the first one by taking one strip, folding it into a circle using our tape or our glue or our scissors and attaching the two ends together. 
you'll take your next strip of paper, loop it through your circle, and attach those two ends together. Keep doing this until you have your second paper chain. You have your second paper chain all done using your scissors as well as your tape, glue, or staples. So go ahead and look at the difference between your first chain that we did not use scissors and your second chain. What differences do you notice between the two? I noticed that our second chain is longer and it looks much neater than our first chain when scissors were scarce and we weren't able to use them. Go ahead and put your first and second chains aside. Get your third piece of paper. And again, start cutting strips. You can use your scissors again to cut your paper into strips until again, you have your paper cut up into strips. Now, what we're gonna do differently with this chain is use our colors. So get out your colors, your markers, crayons, whatever you're using, even just your pencil. And we are going to take some time to decorate our strips of paper so that we can have our strips of paper decorated for our paper chain. So I'm gonna spend some time decorating my strips until they are all decorated. Go ahead and pause the video so you can take some time to decorate your paper strips. You can do them as creatively as you'd like. Once you have your strips all decorated, take one strip and start building your paper chain, just like our first two paper chains, by folding it into a circle and attaching the ends. Loop your second one through and attach the ends. Do this until you've used all of your strips and then you will have your new chain. So I have my new chain that I decorated. If you need time to finish putting your chain together, go ahead and pause the video until you have finished your last chain. Now we should have three chains. When you have all three, I want you to put them all next to each other so we can compare them. We have our first chain where there was a scarcity on scissors and markers. So we were only able to make the chain using what we had. Then we made our second chain using scissors, but there was still a scarcity on markers. We could not use them. Then in our last chain, we were able to use all of our supplies, markers and scissors so that we can make this beautiful chain for our third chain. What I want you guys to do for your assignment today, I'll put the directions right now at the end as well, is tell, make a video showing your three chains and telling me which chain do you like the best and why. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Great job today.